2018, Mountain Dew, GSL Season 3, Codex Reversal. Welcome back. We now have Maru versus Solar for the final match. Uh, this is a rematch of how we started this evening off. It was Solar that came out on top, defeating Maru 2-1. Maru only winning his um, in his double proxy a barracks rush, bunker rush over against the hatchery. But uh, Solar won in supreme endgame uh, ZBT and also won in straight up holding off a bio push. So Maru is going to have to definitely turn some dials here, shift, uh, shift gears, come in here with an adjusted and refined play because right now Solar is looking like the player that in long games is stronger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I think right now Zerg generally, if you get to that very, very end game, is is very strong and Solar showed that he has great mastery of it. You know, he just utilized his army beautifully. He wasn't mining for what felt to us like 10 minutes in one of those games. Yeah, uh, I think it was, was close to, to 10 minutes. By the way, it's our nine-year anniversary of GSL Code S. Today, exactly. On. Yes. We've been on for nine years. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Some of you guys have been watching us for nine years. Thank you, guys. Some of you even longer, even. Yeah. We, we didn't just appear when the GSL arose. That's right. We already existed as humans. We were already out here scheming and doing stuff. <laughs> trying to become eSports people. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go to GSL Cobalt for a change of pace here to start things off in game one. Marvel vs. Solar, the final match for Group C, starts now. Fight. Four thousand. My God, I can't wait till we hit four thousand. Just Gen Air Green do. Wings, Maru. This is head explodes. Oh my God, that's not what I expected. That's right. Apparently, they put a bomb in my head. And it blows up when we get to four thousand. <laughs> that was dark. <laughs> Triumphant Song Gaming. Solar. Every time Taze cast a game, it was having fun. He was just one game closer to his inevitable death. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's forever, Tasteus. So Cobalt, we haven't seen this map played uh, at all this yeah, season, right? Yeah, I, I think we had like uh, maybe, maybe we had one two. game uh, I can't remember. with no regret in me. Round of 32 was so long ago, too. Yeah, this is one of the weird things about doing this tournament is that we had such a delay it, it, in between the round of 32 and the round of 16. It was weird coming back. It feels like season two is more recent than the round of 32 for season three. Well, what's funny about it is that, you know, Usually we're just doing one tournament at a time. Occasionally we'll have one overseas event we do, but you know those are wrapped up in two or three days, yeah. and then you kind of come back. You know, maybe you missed you know, one or two days of, of cast, but that's easy to catch up on, right? But when we just stopped at round of 32 for a long time, it's, it's harder, you know, kind of keep track of you know who yeah. was where. You know, it, it, um, it it's funny because like obviously we know who's that's still here, but upgrade. like it just feels like we've jumped back into a tournament um, after so much time off and, and it seems like all the, the skill levels are kind of mm -hmm. different you know normally you're, you're, you're watching the tracking of who's advancing yeah. it's going to get more intense every round of the tournament but to stop like this and then have GSL vs. World and then to come back to this mm -hmm. feels totally wonky yeah it's it's like GSL Code S is a donut and then GSL vs. World is like a munchkin donut that you put in the middle yeah. donut hole yeah and then I mean it, a, a donut with a donut hole in its hole is not even a donut anymore. That's just like a cake. Yeah, that is basically a cake. You're correct. Yeah. Okay, so let's get everything into the red here. Oh, my God. Ooh, he oh, he gets it. Looked like it died midair. Oh! Oh, and then it gets out. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Solar, you are dead. Get out of the game. He's it's over. He's angry. He wants to win so badly. Dude, if he advances, then maybe we get another Mara victory and everything goes back to normal. Season 2 was just the really weird one. Yeah. The Zerg won. There was all sorts of upsets, including a Zerg winning a GSL. Yeah, we're not supposed to have Zerg win GSL. Yeah. We're supposed to talk about them they're, almost winning. But they're perfect runner-ups. Yes. You know? So many second places.
Nice overload so, speed on the way. Yeah, he's going to do a little bit of scouting here. We also have a Viking coming out here to shoo overlords away so that Terran can continue to try to disguise what their true intentions are. Hmm. A lot more drones being made, or were made, I should say. Now yeah. we got some links coming up here. I wonder what a Supreme like him would look like here, because the well, center doesn't have anything worth fighting yeah, over. Yeah, where would you ever want to fight with Broodlords over here? Yeah, it's so compartmentalized, wow, that's well, what I want to say, uh, that I this, feel like that would look very weird. This is one of those inkblot maps, mm -hmm. you know. It's like you put an inkblot and then fold your paper up yeah. to make a snowflake. And then I'm like, it looks like my dad hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> now... Uh, you know, no, actually, that's a really uh, important point that you made, Artosis. This map is clearly easily split in half. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not going to be a moment where it's like, well, maybe the Zerg gets the top right. Who knows? That's, um, and that's so, true. yeah, if you go to a really, really late game, it's like, well, what do you even want to do here? What's this Baneling Nest all about? Do you think he wants Banelings? Or do you think he thought this might be a Hell Battle in? Because it definitely doesn't look like a Hell Battle in at this point. Yeah. Well, he's definitely ready to defend. So Stim's coming along now. We are going to see Bio play for Maro. Maro, uh, he did okay uh, in, until the pushes started against Solar um, in game three. But after a little bit, I mean, Solar just sort of smashed him down everywhere. By the way, the, Hel the Hellions are really softening up these queens. Keep in mind, with Stim finishing up pretty soon here, we're going to have the rest of the army coming out on the map. So some pretty bruised queens. Well, uh, I mean, it seems like there's not going to be a lot of anything going on. Like, especially I see those two eBays, right? Generally, when you see two eBays like that, it means that we're going to see a 2-2 timing push on max supply. <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, yeah you'll, have, you'll have little things like what we're watching here. But actually, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I totally will. It, it's hard to imagine. Take back what I said. It with exactly what he's got here. Well, uh, looks like Solar just gonna get his upgrades flowing. Of course, it's really quick baneling speed, so he'll probably stay on this Ling Bane style for quite some time. Uh, of course, last time we saw him go for that style was Game Three against Maru, where Maru just endlessly attacked. But again, this build order doesn't look like that. This looks like. Uh, a much more macro intensive build. If you had one eBay, everything would be timed forward a little bit. You keep your pressure on. Whereas here is likely going to go to 2 2, which means that we should also see Solar make it up to Hive Tech. And uh, I really want to. Well, I shouldn't have jumped the gun too much, but I was going to say I want to see. Likely, based on what we're seeing in this game, Ultras. We have had some Ultras before here in uh, ZBT. Yeah, it's heard. funny though because especially on huge maps, you know, you'll see the ultras come out and then they like they start to win the fight and then all the links are gone and then the ultras try to run away and they die to stim units. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's kind of the, the what, what happens with ultras is is they have a hard time. You wouldn't think they would since they don't have to like siege up or anything like that to fight. Hmm. Um, well, you know what I think of ultras as is they are defensive units. Yeah, I really don't see them as attacking you. Well, they just have so much bulk on them. They can sustain for so much longer. Now, here we are. Once again, Maru is sieging up as the army is surrounding his tanks. Now, this is how he died in uh, <laughs> game three. Mm -hmm. And it's really weird to see him reflexively sieging. Yeah, he I tried mean, to it, take it, the center, but the creep was so close that Solar just jumped on him so quickly there. Maru's still trying to walk around, seeing if he can get something done. I this is going to be so. a crazy milestone here, by the way, for Solar, if he ends up knocking Maro out of GSL, yeah. taking two best of threes. be a big, big, big deal. Oh, he's going to try to push back. Can he defend this? It's Solo. Oh, I don't uh, know. I think he's going to lose it. I think Solar might just not want to overcommit here. Yep, yeah, Maro's going to get this. He was patient. I think oh. Solar might have. Oh. oh, the engagement. So good. Mario diving on, though. A few more links coming out. Oh, my that God. That was so good. What a clutch hold that was. Seriously. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, Drilling Claw is on the way, so Mario going to get into a uh, very heavy anti-Ling Bane. We'll see if that works out for him. It's a very long push distance, and there is a lot of creep for Solar right now. And Solar, yeah, he already threw up a macro action in his main, too, so it looks like his production is really on point. Okay, he's going to try to come in one more time, though. 
But we've all been in these positions, right, where you just oh. got that one base, it's so low, you want to yeah. kill it so badly, and then you overextend. The creep continues to fan out on the map. A lot of banelings out. It doesn't appear that there's any easy way to kill off that base. And so Maro's probably going to have to accept that moral loss there. Um, well, do you do you switch it up now and start pushing through this endless creep to get to one of the other bases? Well, this is one of the problems that he's almost neglected the left side of the map, trying to push down yeah. over on the right side so much that there's plenty of creep pushed out here. Yeah, yeah. Well, this makes it very tough. And you know what? He was very late on starting his 2-2. His armory was a little bit late, I noticed, but he actually didn't start it until just very recently. So Solar has actually passed him on the upgrades. His 2-2 is going to be done first, which means he's never going to be fighting at an upgrade disadvantage, which when you're playing Ling Bane against Marines, that's like something Ouch. the Terran's really looking for. Yeah. Now the creep gets further and further out here. The Widow Mines are going to be cleaned up. Already 48 Marines were killed oh, wow. off in this game. My god. Solar's doing a pretty good job, I think. But, you know, there's a lot of mines like, being made. The distance between the upper left, which is where the Terran production is, all the Terran infrastructure, yeah. and the base is now being taken in the bottom right. I don't think Maro's ever going to be able to push in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Maro's paying attention. Beautifully done.